Hi everyone. This is part two of a two-part series where we will show you how we revived old container soil and the results that we got from this experiment. In this video, we will show what we planted throughout the year and what harvest we got from it. I will put the link of part one in description and end screen. In March, as soon as we filled these containers with revived potting mix, we planted sugar magnolia pea seedlings in it. We also sowed radish seeds at the same time. Both types of plants showed good growth during March and April. Radishes are fast maturing, so on April 30th, we were able to get the first harvest of radishes. I have a video of this harvest and I will put it in description below if you want to check it. We kept harvesting radishes over the next few weeks and they were of very good size. As radishes were getting done, the peas kept gaining height and by June 2nd, we started harvesting peas. We had multiple good harvests of peas. I have a video of this harvest and I will put it in description below if you want to check it. So far, so good. In May, we planted green noodle beans, Armenian cucumber and lufa seedlings in these containers. So as our peas were winding down, the beans and cucumbers were getting started. We had decent harvest of beans and cucumbers, but now when we reflect upon it, we realize that we should have added a slow release fertilizer in July to help the later crops. And this is true for probably every garden container. By the middle of the season, the nutrients should be replenished. Next year, we will continue this experiment and add slow release fertilizer after peas get done. Overall, we consider this to be a successful experiment. If you missed the first part of how to revive old container soil mix, we are putting a link to it on the screen, so do check it out.